you've arrived in Brisbane, you want to know the best way to get around. Well, that's what I'm going to talk about today. Plus, I'm going to show you the brand new double decker city cat that Brisbane City Council has just launched. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> So let's start at the beginning. If you're gonna go anywhere on any of the buses, trains or ferries, we call them city cats, then you're definitely going to need one of these, a go-kart. It's much cheaper to travel with a go-kart. You save about 30% off. And a warning, Brisbane public transport is quite expensive. Australia is among the top three countries in the world for expensive public transport. So the cheaper you can make it, the better. You can get your go-kart at any Night Owl convenience store or 7-Eleven. You can also get them at a ticket office at any of the train stations and other retailers that have a sign saying you can buy it. Also, you can buy it on the city cats and ferries. A bunch of places you can get it, about 680 places where you can pick up a go-kart. You pay $10 for an adult one, $5 for a student or concessioner ticket, and that's actually just a deposit so you can get it back at the end of your journey if you're just going to be in Brisbane temporarily. And then you add credit on top of that, a minimum of $5 for students or $10 for adults. You can top up your go-kart at any of the places where you can buy a go-kart. And there's also machines where you can top them up at every train station. So there are some really important things you need to know about how you use your go-kart that can definitely save you money in the long run. So I'll talk to you about those at the end. But in the meantime, let's first talk about the different forms of transport that there are in Brisbane. Okay, so probably the most common two are buses and trains. The buses will get you to a lot more places than the trains in general, but often you'll probably have to use a combination of the two. If you haven't taken buses in Australia before, it's important to know that they won't always stop. They'll only stop if you signal them when you want to get on and press the stop button when you want to get off. The thing though is you may say, but I don't know the city, I don't know when my stop is coming up. Don't worry, the bus drivers here are generally pretty friendly and helpful. And if when you get on, you ask them to let you know when your stop is coming, they'll do that for you, so don't worry at all. So when you get on the bus, you tap on and make sure you don't forget to tap off when you get off the bus as well. So tap on when you get on and off when you get off. That's pretty straightforward. The buses are all right. They're air conditioned, they're reasonably comfortable. And so are the trains. So the trains are probably the first form of transport you're likely to use in Brisbane. A word of advice though, if you're coming from the airport, unless you're traveling by yourself, it's really not worth taking the air train into the city because it's going to be cheaper to book an Uber. The air train is ridiculously expensive. If you're not venturing far from the city, then there's a few options for you. You can get around along the river and there's also a couple of free bus services that do a loop around the city. So let's start with the river services. The city cat is probably the number one way to get around along the river. So that goes anywhere between the University of Queensland in St. Lucia and Hamilton on the North Shore. This week, Brisbane City Council made a really big deal out of the launch of their new double-decker city cat. They put on a big event. They had some guy come and do a concert. A few people showed up, uh, but uh, you know what? Today, today I decided today is the time to test out this new double decker city cat. So I waited at the pier near the city and uh, waited and waited and waited and then waited some more because then I realized actually the launch was just one. There is only one. So that means in their whole fleet of city cats. The chances of you actually getting the double decker one are not really high, but let's just see, was it worth the wait? What? <laughs> 
not worth the wait at all. I'm going to show you an even better option and it's free. I'm talking about the City Hopper. You would have seen in the video where I was waiting for the Double Decker City Cat a little red ferry that came along. That's the City Hopper. Just like the completely overrated Double Decker City Cat, the City Hopper has two levels. So you can go up to the second level and enjoy 360 degree views as you go along the river. And actually, it's more than you get on the City Cat because the Double Decker City Cat only has about 270 degrees of view because part of your view is actually blocked by the, the part of the ship where the captain is sailing the thing. The ship, the ferry, you know what I'm saying. So it's actually better and you don't have to pay to use it unlike the city cat. Uh, it doesn't go quite as far along the river but you know what if you just want to have a bit of a scenic tour you can just take a loop from one end to the other and back and see a lot of the city. It's really great for photo opportunities. You know what I actually think sometimes it's a the best way to cross the river. A lot of people when they're having a look around Brisbane They'll start in the CBD and then they'll cross Victoria Bridge, walk across Victoria Bridge to South Bank and have an explore of South Bank. But the thing is, it is really hot, especially in summer. Today it's 39 degrees Celsius here in Brisbane. So you don't want to be walking across in the sun when you can just take a city hopper across the river for free to South Bank and get one with a canopy so you're in the shade and you've got the good views. So it's the way to go. City hoppers are awesome. Anyway, enough about my city cat admiration. There's also free services on buses as well. And just like the city cat that you can take as a loop, just for a bit of a free tour, you can do the same with the free bus loops. So you can take the 40 or the 50 and that'll take you around through the city. Uh, it's a, a good stop off on that one is the Botanic Gardens. There's other great spots to stop off, but I'm going to do a video on that specifically later. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll fill you in on that down the track. But yeah, take the 40, the 50, great little tour of the city and it doesn't cost you a cent. There's also another free bus, which is the 30, and that takes you through Spring Hill. And there's a couple of good spots to know on that route as well, again, for a later video. So you can see there's actually quite a few ways to get around the city without even spending money. But make sure you do have your go-card for, you know, complete uh, accessibility to different parts of the city. And I did mention there are a few things that you needed to know when you're using the go-card that will save you money in the long term. And that is that if you forget to tap off, whether you get off a train or you get off a bus and you don't tap off, you're actually going to be charged a flat rate no matter what the trip you took. Uh, so if it's on a bus, you'll be charged, as an adult, you'll be charged $5, even if it was only a $2 something ride. Uh, and if you get off the train and forget to tap off, you'll be charged $10. That can add up pretty quickly, so you want to make sure you don't forget. If you do forget, however, you can actually deal with it. On the back of your go card, there's a number 131230 that you can call if you do forget to tap off, and they will actually refund the portion of your trip that you didn't need. To pay. So it not all is lost if you do forget, but just try not to do it because it's just troublesome. Anyway, that's about it. So I've covered the buses, I've covered the trains, I've covered the city cats, I've talked about some free services. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything I haven't covered. If there is, then if you've still got some questions, then hey, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, if I can say the word. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and like the video if it was in any way useful for you please anything you want to know if even if there's something about brisbane you'd like me to cover in future videos just let me know in the comments i'm really looking for things that you want to see so just let me know what that is and that's about it for me so see you next time